Welcome everyone. Before we delve into our discussion, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Today, we'll be discussing the indomitable Dr. Shola Moss Shog Bamimu, an esteemed academic, lawyer and activist known for her tireless advocacy for social justice and equality. Born and educated in Britain, Dr. Shola has dedicated her life to fighting against systemic racism and discrimination. Her work spans across academia, law and activism, making her a formidable voice in the fight for equality. But it's not just her impressive credentials that make her stand out. It's her unwavering commitment to speak truth to power regardless of how uncomfortable that truth may be. One of her most notable stands has been her staunch support for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. As a woman of colour herself, Dr Shola has been vocal about the blatant racism Meghan Markle has faced since her entry into the royal family. She's been a vocal critic of the royal institution, highlighting their inability to accept Meghan and how this rejection is rooted in deep-seated racial prejudices. But Dr Shola's advocacy doesn't stop at calling out racism. She emphasises that it's not the responsibility of Meghan, Harry or any person of colour to educate white people about racism. Instead, she insists that the onus is on the royal institution to address their own systemic biases and prejudices. Dr. Shola's advocacy for Meghan and Harry has made her a powerful voice in the fight against racism, resonating with countless individuals who stand in solidarity with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Her work serves as a call to action, urging us all to confront and challenge discriminatory practices within our own societies. Dr. Shola's passion for equality and justice is truly inspiring, setting the stage for our deeper exploration into her views on the royal family's treatment of Meghan Markle. Stay tuned as we delve further into this compelling topic in our next segment. Turning our attention now to an issue that has garnered global attention, the racism faced by Meghan Markle within the royal family. Meghan Markle, an accomplished actress and humanitarian, joined the royal family with grace and poise, but was met with a cold and unsympathetic reception. The Duchess of Sussex has repeatedly spoken about the isolation and lack of support she experienced, which she attributes in part to her biracial heritage. Dr. Shola Moss Shog Bamimu, a staunch advocate for Meghan, has been vocal about her belief that the royal family's treatment of Meghan is deeply rooted in racial prejudices. She insists that the negative press and the lack of support Meghan received from the institution are indicative of systemic racism within the royal family. An incident that stands out in particular is when Meghan shared in an interview with Oprah Winfrey that there were discussions within the royal family about how dark her son Archie's skin might be. According to Meghan, these discussions occurred while she was pregnant, adding a layer of concern and stress during what should have been a joyful time. Dr Scholler emphasises that these allegations are not just about personal prejudice, but are symptomatic of an institution that has failed to adapt to a multicultural and diverse modern Britain. She believes that the royal family's response, or lack thereof, to these allegations further underscores their inability to confront their biases and take steps towards meaningful change. Meghan's experiences have highlighted the racial disparities that exist not only within the royal family, but also in broader British society. And though the palace has maintained a largely silent stance on the issue, the world has been watching closely. As Dr Scholler has pointed out, these incidents provide a grim view into the systemic biases within the royal institution. The royal family's response to these allegations will be a testament to their willingness to acknowledge and address their deep-rooted prejudices. But who should bear the responsibility of addressing these systemic biases? According to Dr Shola, it's not the victims. She believes that the burden of understanding and dismantling racism should not rest on the shoulders of those who suffer from it. In the case of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they have been thrust into the spotlight, their personal lives dissected and discussed in a way that often centres their racial identities. Dr Scholler emphasises that this is not their responsibility to bear alone. Instead, she firmly places the onus of education on the royal institution itself. It should be incumbent upon those perpetuating the discrimination to confront and address their own biases. It's a call for introspection, a demand for self-analysis. This is not about blame, it's about responsibility. It's about dismantling a system of prejudice that has been allowed to persist for far too long. It's about acknowledging that racism is not just a personal issue, but a societal one, deeply embedded in our institutions, our traditions and our collective consciousness. 
And so, Dr. Scholler urges the Royal Institution to take up the mantle of change. This isn't a plea for sympathy, but a demand for action. It's a call to recognize the need for a paradigm shift, to acknowledge the deep-seated prejudices that have long been brushed under the regal carpets of the palace. This isn't about merely acknowledging the existence of racism. It's about actively working towards its eradication. It's about not just hearing the experiences of those affected, but truly listening. It's about learning, understanding, and ultimately, changing. The onus of education, according to Dr. Scholler, is on those within the institution to challenge the status quo, to question the ingrained biases, and to strive for a more inclusive, equitable society. The time for change is now, and the responsibility lies firmly in the hands of those with the power to effect that change. In other words, it's high time the Royal Institution took a long, hard look in the mirror. Dr. Scholler's bold stance has not gone unnoticed. Indeed, her fervour and relentless pursuit of justice have sparked essential dialogues about racism in the tapestry of British society. Through her activism, Dr. Scholler has ignited a beacon of truth, shining a light on the deep-rooted racial prejudices that have been glossed over for far too long. As she valiantly stands up against the royal family's treatment of Meghan, Dr. Scholler has kindled a fire in the hearts of many. Her words reverberate through the corridors of power, challenging the status quo and inspiring a wave of support for Harry and Meghan. She's not just an advocate, she's a catalyst for change, compelling us all to question, to scrutinise and to demand better. Dr. Scholler's activism has found resonance with a global audience, her message echoing across continents, transcending boundaries of race, culture and social status. She has given voice to the voiceless, courageously speaking out for those who have long been silenced or ignored. Her tireless efforts have rallied support for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, creating a strong and unified front against racial discrimination. Her resolute stance has not only brought the issue of racism within the royal family to the forefront, but has also prompted introspection within British society. She has forced us to examine our own biases, to acknowledge the systemic racism that exists, and to strive for a more inclusive and accepting society. The impact of Dr. Scholler's activism is monumental. She has transformed the narrative, shifting the focus from Meghan and Harry's supposed shortcomings to the Royal Institution's failure to address its own prejudices. Her advocacy has been a call to arms, a rallying cry for all those who believe in equality and justice. Through her activism, Dr. Scholler has become a powerful voice for those who demand accountability from the Royal Institution. She has proven that one person can indeed make a difference, and reminded us all that the fight against racism is a fight that we all must partake in. As we draw our discussion to a close, let's reflect on the impact Dr. Scholler's activism has had on this issue. Her voice has been a beacon of truth, casting light on the murky waters of racism within the royal family. She has steadfastly supported Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, not just as members of the monarchy, but as individuals who have been subjected to racial prejudice. Throughout our conversation, we've examined the racism that Meghan Markle, a woman of colour, has experienced. We've delved into the unsettling realisation that this discrimination is not a standalone incident, but rather a manifestation of deep-rooted racial biases within the royal institution. We've scrutinised the royal family's inability to accept Meghan, a reflection of their reluctance to confront their own systemic prejudices. Dr. Scholler has been instrumental in highlighting these issues. Her tireless advocacy has been a catalyst for change, inspiring countless individuals to stand in solidarity with Harry and Meghan. Through her activism, she has ignited a dialogue about racism at the highest levels of British society, challenging us all to hold the institution accountable for its harmful and discriminatory practices. Yet the fight against racism is far from over. It's a systemic issue that demands systemic solutions. Dr. Scholler's work serves as a stark reminder that it's not the responsibility of those subjected to racism to educate others about it. Rather, it's incumbent upon those within the system, those who perpetuate racial biases, to educate themselves and make a conscious effort to change. In closing, let us remember that every voice counts in this ongoing dialogue about race and discrimination. Dr. Scholler's voice has been a powerful one, but it's just one of many. We all have a role to play in creating a more inclusive and equitable society. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, 
Subscribing to our channel keeps you updated with our latest content. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video.